Hello again. In our other videos, we have talked about captives in general and why they make sense. In this video, I would like to focus on captives for medical practices. Running a medical practice has never been more difficult and complicated. The Affordable Care Act, HIPAA, and a host of other regulations are adding to the growth of practice overhead, while insurance requirements and reimbursements are putting a cap on income growth. As a result, physicians are facing a growing threat to the profitability of their operation. One way that physicians can begin to take back control is by focusing on the administration and control of the hidden risks faced by a typical medical practice. Such hidden risks include things like loss or damage to key medical talent, hospital privileges, medical license or business reputation, exposures from HIPAA compliance issues, cyber risk breaches, and other laws and regulations that affect a business are another risky area. While these incidents may be unlikely to occur, any such episode could be very damaging to a medical practice. Many larger hospitals and medical groups, as well as most large non-medical companies, have long managed their insurance coverages and hidden risks as part of a risk management program. One of the key tools of risk planning is the captive insurance company. In essence, by owning your own insurance company, a captive opens a door to cost savings, risk transfer, and increased profit potential. In fact, more than 95% of Fortune 1000 companies and many other successful small to mid-sized companies throughout the U.S. operate captives. Forming a captive can be a complicated process and requires a long-term approach to strategy and planning. But a properly constructed captive allows the physician to convert unfunded risk, such as cyber risk or hip exposures, into insurance premiums, which are then tax deductible to the medical practice. A captive can also allow a practice to take high deductibles on conventional coverages, such as medical malpractice insurance, and then insure the deductible through the captive, funding the coverage with the savings from the conventional coverage premiums. With prudent management and an effective risk management program, the captive can invest surplus funds and build up a tax-efficient war chest for the owner, which may be used in future years to fund business expansion or retirement planning. The captive's risk management and asset protection benefits, combined with the tax incentives, often make it a very attractive strategic option for successful doctors. Generally, a doctor or group of doctors with pre-tax profits of $500,000 or more elect to form a captive. Captives are generally organized as small insurance companies taking advantage of a 30-year-old section of the tax code. Captives can be located in a variety of jurisdictions, including offshore locales, as well as many states in the U.S. Recently written international insurer legislation in Puerto Rico makes the establishment of a Puerto Rico-based captive very beneficial for U.S.-based owners. A captive insurance company must always be established with a bona fide insurance purpose, that is, as a facility for transferring risk and protecting assets. Selection of an experienced captive manager along with a team of industry experts is a major consideration in constructing and managing your captive. Done right, the captive could be one of the most powerful financial and business planning tools available to physicians.